Oh my god! Oh! Fatties! Mid call, I'm jigging them there. Angry. Let's fucking go. Straight to the rocks. Oh, oh my God. Oh, we got a nice one on, guys. Come on, be a white. Thing almost spooled me. Oh, there's like four of them right here with it. Bunch of bait right here too. Oh my god, it's a fucking donkey. Yeah, there's several fish here with it too. Still. Just hanging out under my boat, 20 feet down. I'm gonna see if I can release this one. That's a big kingy there. Shit. <laughs> All right, let's release this 35 pounder. <sighs> that's, that's a nice one there. Oh, come on, baby. I'm gonna let you go. All right. We got foot yellowtail for days in the cooler. We're gonna let this girl go. That's probably about a 35 pounder or so. That is a nice fish. All right, Greg, she's going back. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! What is up, everybody? Chris Blevins here. Welcome back to the channel. Another early morning, got on the launch. It's Sunday, it's empty out here. Was packed on Saturday yesterday. Now, one slow day, no one's on it. Just me and Greg out here. Got my first bite at 6.15 a.m. and landed a 35 roughly pound yellowtail. A freaking pig on the dropper loop thing worked me. And it's just Greg and I out here. We've been just crushing them this week. That's probably my fourth or fifth fish over 30 pounds in this last week. And we had a 40 pounder in the tournament from yesterday. So, but yeah, we're, uh, we're releasing 35 pounders out here. We're doing it. Kiwi style. You gotta give them a big hug, let them go. Now we're looking for a bigger fish. We're looking for a 40 to 50 pounder out here right now. We're looking for a tournament winner. So we're gonna get some good karma, let that 35 go. Let's see if we can pick up another one here. Same deal, secret bite. This is what happens when you don't call all your friends and tell everyone. You get these empty mornings, nobody out. Just old Blevins and the Yellowtail. I can see a few kayaks straggling out here. 
We'll see what they do. They'll probably end up just skipping by this zone. It feels so good to re <laughs> release a big fish like that. All of these fish have been like super pregnant females. Every one of the big 30 pounder plus fish I've caught has been like a really gravid female. So it feels good to release them and know that uh, they're gonna be hopefully reproducing or maybe just getting caught by another fisherman. But hey, our coolers are stuffed. We're releasing home guards. <laughs> oh, oh, so good. Best ever. <laughs> Just had a nice mark swim through that bait. It is very lively looking out here. The dogs working this bait. Birds are scratching. I think I even saw a couple puddling yellowtail on it. We're over a thick water bait right here. Another mark in it. What a difference it makes not having a ton of anchor lines in the water. Yesterday it was like, good luck landing a 40 plus pound yellowtail when you got seven anchor lines around you. Right now it's just me and Greg completely empty. Not an anchor line in sight. We can just let the fish run, try to steer it away from the structure, and you're golden. Only thing we gotta be careful of, these dogs could come after a fish if we catch it. And it's gonna be hard to release one if it's got a big bite taken out of it from a, from a sea lion, but I guess these are good problems to have. Sea lions gotta eat too. Oh, was it just the dog? Definitely sniff my bait. Yeah, and this has been like one of the funnest little runs these last two weeks are just insane. Oh man, that was crazy. I am, it's 8.15, I'm headed in, 8.30. They swam through right at dawn and I haven't seen them come through again. I got some other stuff to do today, so I'm just gonna head in. Got a nice fish that I were able to release. Um, lately I've been fishing the, I've been fishing with the reverse dropper loop with circle hook. Well, I usually fish that for fin bait, but not for squid. But uh, the circle hook's been good. Pretty much every fish that I've hooked has been like right in the corner of the mouth, which is good for staying hooked up when you're fighting those big fish, but it's also good if you end up planning to release one. Uh, so he was released nice and healthy. I did my best to hold him up for a picture, but she was like freaking huge. Really nice being out here without a ton of anchor lines out either. There was kind of a lot of kayaks on it. I didn't see anyone else hook up really, but yeah makes a big difference when there's not 100 people out here so we'll see what happens this week probably gonna stay keep fishing this for as long as it's biting i mean gosh it's some of the best yellowtail fishing i've seen in years i mean we're saying we're releasing 35 pounders 30 30 pounds is a small fish for these schools i think my smallest one was 34 Yes, crazy, <laughs> freaking crazy. My gear's wrecked, man. I gotta spool up some new, some fresh line and definitely gonna need to do some uh, service on the reels here after this after this bite dies down. But yeah, it's, those circle hooks, it's, I think it was a two-aught circle hook, so the fish will just swallow the squid hole. And then as soon as it encounters the drag resistance from the reel, then you get that perfect hook set, so. Had a good ratio. I think I've had five bites and five fish or four and four or something like that. So I'm bound to probably lose one soon. Got really lucky I didn't lose that 40. So fun, oh my gosh. And re just to release a big old breeder like that, moss back, it's really cool. Trying to do it like they do down in the, try to do it like the Kiwis do. See those guys just releasing 60 pounders all the time. Got to meet a lot of, uh, Got to meet a lot of people out here who are followers of the channel. Everyone's been super cool. Everyone's been asking me why I haven't been uploading. I've been taking tons of videos, but haven't had time for editing. Work's been pretty busy. Haven't had time to upload. So keep the comments coming. Still getting plenty of views on the channel. So it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Thanks you guys. It's, thanks for everything. Yeah, you know, you guys are so cool. We'll see what happens here. As of right now, the conditions just looked more or less spectacular, but there wasn't really fish swimming through it. So I don't know, it could be the bite slowing down. It could be the bite is shifting to other zones. We've been eating good. Yesterday we had, yesterday we ate yellowtail tacos for lunch and then we had squid tacos, calamari tacos for dinner. And then we also made ceviche. And then we had sushi the night before. It's pretty cool how 
I'm just being powered by the fish that I'm catching out here and then continuing to come out. And then when I have the, you know, the fish's, the fish's power is inside of me and I come out and just get another one. That's why it felt really good to release one because these fish have been given a lot. They've given a lot of anglers. Definitely a lot of PRs caught this week. I got my own PB this week, my first 40 pound yellowtail. I've caught sea bass up to 60, I think 66 is my biggest one ever. And halibut, I've gotten up to a 45, which is, <laughs> that's a big halibut for a California halibut. But um, yellowtail, the 40 pound yellowtail has just eluded me over the years. I've probably caught a 130 pound yellowtail. I don't know, maybe more than that. Maybe that's an underestimate. I've probably caught at least a hundred yellowtail that were 30 pound range and never caught a single 40 pounder. And then you get guys who come out and they're trolling a mackerel on the corner and they get a 45 pounder on like their first fish, which, <laughs> which is pretty cool. A buddy of ours got his, his young friend on his first fish um, yesterday and it was actually a 47, which is a behemoth. That is a fucking monster. And it was his first fish. Guess completely wrecked him, almost spooled him. It's been so crazy this week. But yeah, hopefully you guys got on them. If you, like I said, if you get on these bites, keep it quiet. Don't post your stuff on the internet so that people will start texting you and being like, whoa, where'd you, where'd you get? It's a bite and oh. And before you know it, it's packed out here and the bite shuts down. All it really amounts to is if you have the time to go fishing, then you go. And when you're out here, like people on the water who I see, if they're gonna see me catching fish or they're gonna see me catching the bait, and then they're gonna know the info. So just come out here and see what's going on for yourself. Don't wait around for that report or that internet post. We'll see how long this lasts. Um, as always, thanks for all the support in the channel and we'll see you at the launch.